Hi guys, I'm Deep Gautam, full stack developer. Welcome to .NET Techie. Today I'm going to tell you very interesting things. How to use high charts in Angular 4. And if you are developing any project, chart is a very important thing these days. So let me show you how the chart, uh, how we can use high chart in Angular 4. So for that I have uh, prepared my usual presentation in order to show you the theory. First, after that I will take you to the practical words. So in order, so this is the tutorial about how to use high charts in angular 4 and it's a very very simple stuff this component oriented architecture for, from the angular has been very supportive for the developer when it comes to use any kind of component you need to just you just uh, consider that uh, in the object oriented programming languages we are importing the dll and using those classes this is same magic is happening over here with the help of this component oriented approach and uh, your uh, whatever the component uh, you would like to use in into your uh, project that you just initiate those component give the property and you are done with that and this is all because of type script which supports object oriented features yeah so let uh, let me take you angular 4 high charts in action how to use high charts in angular 4 so within uh, next 5 minutes you will be able to learn how to use high charts in angular 4 and you will be able to implement uh, that uh, in a very easy manner so there is no challenge on that but if you follow the step you are good you, you are good let me show you so what is the theory you need to just uh, in my case i am using vs code editor go to your vs code editor open your integrated terminal type the command to import the high charts then i have written the command to import uh, uh, typing supports for the high charts which is npm i it uh, does that save dev class types high chart so this is an optional things but uh, it uh, it is always good practice if you are having in the intelligent support for that then you could import your chart module in your module.ts file in the module.ts import array you just include your chart module now you can go and generate the component where you would like to generate the chart where you would like to see the chart so in order to generate the component we are having very uh, good command in angular cli where ngg and uh, whatever you would like to generate here i would like to generate the component and then uh, components folder then charts de demo is another folder and simple chart is my component i have uh, just uh, written that command and pressed enter it, it will do my job once the component is generated in that particular component where you would like to use the chart you need to import the basically chart over here so yeah so here you need to import the chart and uh, you are done so you are ready to use the chart let me show you how to you uh, we have done in the code uh, so this is my code over here where uh, when i talk about the integrated terminal how you can go to the integrated terminal go to the view and integrated terminal this will open you uh, integrated terminal this is the component which i have generated chart demo and this is my module.ts which includes the basic details for high charts so what are the basic details for the high charts this one is the ch high charts module when i have imported it this one line this line i have written it in order to import into import array this line i have written it then i have generated the chart uh, demo component in the chart demo component the first thing let me go to the component ts yes, uh, and just show you what's happening around the first thing you need to import is this one in my ppt it was uh, wrongly mentioned uh, chart module but actually you need to import chart so that you can utilize the chart class over here once you have uh, imported this you are uh, ready to use the chart so i have just initialized this chart <laughs> over here define the chart particular type what would be the title of the type three dates so whether it's or false and um, series what are the series so this data you can provide this data you can provide dynamically from the base service as well web api as well or restful service as well you just fill this array and it will uh, bind up your chart so uh, what is the html which is doing the job for this this is the chart and here i have written one function which is add so what it is doing this dot charts dot add point so there are many method in the chart class which supports add support add remove add points or remove points or many references and uh, and so on that is uh, like a very depth detail but this is the basic steps as well let me show you the my html how it looks like 
nothing is there just one button which is having the add component and uh, click add event and this is the charge inside the div this is the way to call the charts so i have given angle bracket and chart and then this chart i am supplying over here so what it is taking actually look at this what is my chart name which i have in slice this is my chart which is getting binded into div so you need to just initialize this basic step supply the data if it is not starting in my case i have made it started supply the this data point from the wave api and you are done so let me show you basically what's uh, exactly there in the chart so this is my running application so you need to just import the high charts create the component where you would like to import the high charts the basic summary and uh, there itself you just declare your high charts parameters or series or points and then you just run the application it is uh, able to show you so let me show you my browser how this thing is running up and here is my browser so high charts in angular 4 by deep gotham please subscribe uh, dot and happy basically i have written so this is my high chart which i am showing over here so this is the high chart which is showing so these are the points these are the points which i have given line 10 20 30 40 50 and these are x-axis and y-axis if i would like to add points in add point i have written a random method so which is adding the point like this yeah so adding the particular points so line goes like this how it is absent so this is pretty simple using the chart and you uh, i hope you have understood and uh, you can use the charts very easily the basic thing is you import the again i am telling the theory guys just remember this import the chart module in your module.ts then create a chart component initialize the chart and supply the data to the chart and bind that particular chart into the html you are done Yes, so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.net.